my name is Caitlin Mill, coming to you from Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts, and I'm here today to talk to you about the bassoon. We're going to start with how to put the bassoon together. So every time you take your case out, you're going to want to make sure that it's facing up. So you'll see there are these hinges. When you snap them open, they should reach up to the ceiling. Otherwise, when you open the case, pieces may spill out and break. We're going to open up our case. First thing you want to make sure to do is soak your reed. You should always be soaking your reed. You can keep a watertight bottle of some kind in your case. Old, clean prescription bottles work great. You can also buy something at the store as long as it is sealed and water doesn't leak out. You can leave it in your case all the time. Only need to soak your reed for the amount of time it takes you to put your instrument together. So we're going to start by putting our reed in the water. And we're going to pull up our boot joint. Looks like this. Okay, next piece we're going to pull out of our case is our tighter joint or wing joint. Looks like this. So see, it's called the wing joint because it's got this piece that comes off of it, sort of like a wing. Now you're going to want to make sure that the part of your boot with all of your thumb keys is facing you. Hold it against your body and insert your tenor joint into its respective hole. Make sure whenever you put your instrument together that you twist your tenons back and forth. You don't want to try and screw it in like you're putting a top on a bottle. Your instrument should have a line in it on your boot and on your wing joint that will show you when the instrument's lined up. That's going to look different on every instrument, but look for it. It should be there. That will tell you when your wing joint is correctly placed. Next, we're going to take out our long joint. It's the longest instrument joint that we have. That's why it's called the long joint. The same thing, we're going to place it into its home and twist it back and forth until it's all the way inserted. You should make sure that when you place your thumbs on the keys that it's comfortable for you. This can rotate. Some instruments also have a lock between your long joint and your wing joint you can insert. There's usually a hole either in the top. Sometimes it's over here. Again, every instrument's different. You'll be able to see when you pull yours out of the case. This instrument doesn't have a lock, so that's why I'm not putting it on. Next, we're going to pick up our bell. It's the last big piece of your instrument. Hold your thumb over this circular key here, which opens up this hinge. Place it on the top of your long joint, and make sure that this key overlaps with its counterpart on the long joint. Now it's time for our vocal. This is the smallest piece of the instrument. Also, I guess they're all important, but this is probably the most important because this is where your reed's going to go. Now, your vocal is very delicate. It's very easy to bend, so you want to be very careful when you're inserting it. You're going to hold it from the top. You're going to place it in its hole, which is at the top of the wing joint. And again, you're going to gently rotate back and forth, holding it from this point, which is where it's strongest, so it won't bend. You should never grab it here and pull. And then insert it. And every instrument's going to be a little different, so it may go all the way in. You may have some cork poking up. That's fine. Make sure that this key, this pad up here, covers up this hole which is on the side of your vocal. It's very easy to see. It sticks out from the side. Next we have our seat strap. Again, all seat straps are going to be a little bit different, but it's going to go on the bottom of your boot in some way. Then when you sit down, put the seat strap behind you. Sit down on it and adjust the bassoon to a comfortable height. You may find that you need to rotate your vocal a little bit so that it's where you want it. Next, we're going to take our reed. Shake off a little bit of the excess water. And again, just like the rest of our instrument, you want to make sure that you rotate your reed back and forth until it's securely on your instrument. Never twist it like a bottle cap. And your instrument is together and ready to be played. 